Hey, what's up everyone? Tetric85 here, and today I'm going to be beginning my playthrough of Blades of Steel Tournament Edition for the NES. As you can see here in the main menu, I'm going to be on the selecting tournament mode. And like I did in my review, I chose to uh, play as Los Angeles here, and as you can see there's the Pro League right there, but um... As you can tell right off the bat, this is post vocal commentary. Just I, I did want to do this live commentary, but as you'll find out later, this ended up being more complicated than what I thought. So, yeah, there, <laughs> there's plenty of venting and everything else going on there. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna do this uh, vocal commentary uh, afterwards. And having said that, there is not gonna be any text commentary this since it's, like I said, this is post-commentary, but, um... But yeah, this, it's been a while since I played this game, and, um, as you can see, I'm playing against Chicago, and I get the early goal here. Now, each, like I said in my, my, my yeah, if I can speak English, <laughs> like I said in my review, each team has their own strengths, like, the team I'm playing as right now, Los Angeles, they're fairly fast and aggressive and are heavy duty checkers. While the team I'm playing against, Chicago, is. Uh, has great speed, but at the same time, there's no one st standout shooter, which. If you think about it, though, there's not really any standout shooters since everybody uh, looks the same, but. Um, but yeah, usually when I play this game, I usually play as Los Angeles. Having said that, though, I am not a Los Angeles Kings fan whatsoever, you know, I'm not, I, I never really did, like, back in the early 90s and that, they had their, um, logos in the silver and black, which they went back to the silver and black just a couple years ago, and of course they won two of the past three Stanley Cups and that, but, yeah, I've never really been a fan of the Los Angeles Kings. If you want to know a team that I do um, root for, though, and my home team is the Pittsburgh Penguins. If any, if, 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 if any of you care about that, so. But yeah, I've I've been a lifelong Pittsburgh Penguins fan. I am kind of bummed out that Pittsburgh isn't one of these teams. But then again, when this game was made, this was before they won the Stanley Cups and that. But um, having said that, though, Lemieux was around back then. I I believe this was either his fourth or his fifth year in the NHL, so. I don't see why they couldn't have included Pittsburgh, but, uh, oh well. They do have New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, and Minnesota. They could have replaced Minnesota with Pittsburgh, but I'm sure Minnesota fans wouldn't like that too much. But, uh, after all, Minnesota is known as the state of hockey, so. And I like their team, too, the Minnesota Wild. You know, I, li I like their uniforms, I like their logos. They got a pretty decent team, you know, I think it's going to be a couple years before I become a perennial playoff contender, but, uh, yeah, I like them. And no, I'm not a Chicago Blackhawk fan either, which, and if you know anything about hockey, uh, 1992, they lost to the Pittsburgh Penguins, they got swept four games to nothing, and, of course, they've won a couple Stanley Cups in the past several years, so, um, but yeah, you know, as you as you probably already figured out, I'm not I'm not one of these people that they sees a team win a championship and all of a sudden I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon. If anything, it does the opposite to me. You know, if I see a team form a dynasty like that, it gives me a team to root against. You know, of course the lone exception to this is if it, if if it's my home team and that I know. At football wise, the Pittsburgh Steelers won a couple Super Bowls a couple years ago, and it looked like they were gonna do something there, and I got real excited about that, but um. But yeah, you know, the other dynasty thing, you know, I'm not one of these bandwagon people. If anything, it kind of steers me away from that team. And when I, I cheer on other teams and that hopefully will break the, uh, the monopoly that the team is trying to achieve by winning multiple championships, so. But yeah, I got, got off to a little bit of a good lead here, 5-1. to one, But um, just to give you a little bit of warning right now, that's not going to last because Chicago's going to mount a, con a comeback here. Which this is one of the main reasons why I decided to have this post-commentary, because I was screaming at the top of my lungs <laughs> doing this part, so... Um. But yeah, this game isn't that hard. Like I said before, you know, I, it's been a while since I played this, so I should have did a at least a practice one or two before I played this, but... You know, I felt confident in my abilities before doing this, and perhaps a little bit too overconfident. And, uh, 
as you end up seeing in the, within the next couple minutes and that I almost end up paying dearly for this but um But yeah, like I said in my review, you know, this is, this is really a fun game to play if you get a chance to play it. And if any of you have ever played the basketball game Double Dribble, these are from the same people that made Double Dribble, which... I have to admit, I have never played that game. I'm not really much of a basketball fan, but, uh... Yeah, this is made by the same people. Of course, you see right there, I, 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 I kind of... See right there, I had a little bit of trouble passing there, and I should not have given up that goal. <laughs> I mean, what was that from the blue line? That's a, that's almost criminal to give up a goal like that. But um, yeah, don't mind if, if during this playthrough and that that I start rambling on like this because you know, and that's a, that's that is kind of like a good thing I do like about doing the post vocal commentary. Like, see. Right there, I should have stopped it. You know, that happens sometimes, too. You know, you, you stop the puck, but it somehow squeaks by you anyway. That does happen a lot, especially in the professional setting like I'm playing on right now, which is the highest difficulty. So, um, yeah, the only reason why I'm playing as pro difficulty is because it, to get the, the good ending on this. And, yes, there is a good ending to this, so, um... But like I said earlier, you know, um... The thing I like about doing a post vocal commentary like this is because I get to say things in that that uh, I normally wouldn't think about it if I was playing live, and that's why I adopted doing my Mega Man and Bass uh, playthrough to uh, have the the text commentary, the post text commentary to go with it because there are certain points of that that uh, I just want to add a little bit something, either something from the game or if I want to pick on myself for doing something idiotic that I wouldn't have normally picked on myself about at the time, but um... But yeah, as you see here, that's pretty much the end of the first period and do a little bit of editing here. That's another thing you'll notice in this playthrough too. I, I did a lot of editing here because I'm sure you guys don't want to see me play this, like, not for a whole entire game, so I figured I might as well cut the parts out, but mainly for all the goals and that, and that, so, uh... And also, on a personal note, I should say that this is my first video that I published on my channel that's over 15 minutes long. So, um... Oh, and I probably shouldn't have edited it there, but if you're wondering why I only have four players in the ice, at that face office because I did get into a fight with the one Chicago player and he ended up kicking my butt for it so <laughs> and that's another thing about pro difficulty too is that good luck trying to win a fight because it's a, a nine times out of ten it just does not happen so but yeah I, I try to condense this as much as I can try to get the f to the food of the action here that way it doesn't end up being bo boring and especially if I'm trying to kill time you know, especially late in the second and in the third period. See, I, once again, I had issues passing there, which I don't know why, but, uh... And you see here, is it... Once you figure out how to play this game, it's extremely easy. Just make sure you shoot where the arrow's in an open space in the net, and you'll do just fine. And I, I do have to admit that even playing at this pro level, it's not any harder than what you would see. It's not any harder than what you would see, like, in a junior or college level at difficulties. But it can be challenging depending on who you play against. Like, playing against Chicago isn't too bad here, but it, in my opinion, the two toughest teams to play against on pro level are Montreal and Edmonton. Which... If you think about it, it kind of does make sense because this was during the period of time where Edmonton and Montreal were the two most dominant NHL teams back in the 80s. You know, of course, Edmonton winning the four straight Stanley Cups and Montreal, they've always been good until recently in that, but uh, they've always had historically a good team, the Montreal Canadiens, so. But yeah, I'm. Whenever I edit this video, I, I try to get the most important parts of this game. Of course, I, like I said before, I did omit the one fight on here, but it wasn't really a long fight. And to be honest with you, I, I got my butt kicked. <laughs> I don't think you guys would have wanted to see that too much. But um, but yeah, I'm 
see what I was doing here is I mean I try to build up a good enough lead so that if they do explode in the third period it shouldn't end up costing me. Like right here it's eleven to four. I I usually don't give up. As a matter of fact, at four goals I gave up in a period is the most I've ever given up in a period, so at this point I was still being a little bit cautious about what I was doing. But I I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. I, I think the most goals I've given up a, in a game is like 7 or 8 or something like that, but, uh... But yeah, I, I try not to concede a whole lot of goals in this game. And I like scoring them too, and... And that's another thing you'll notice when you play this game. You'll get into a bit of a rhythm going on, and... Once you start scoring goals, they're just gonna keep on coming and coming, and before you know it, you're gonna have like a 10 goal lead on your opponents. No matter what your difficulty setting is, so... See here, the second period is winding down. You see here, even watching this right now, it, is, it does tend to be get a little bit boring to watch, but... <laughs> trust me, it's definitely not boring to play. This game, like I said before, it's a lot of fun to play. And here's the second intermission, and here, here's something I did not show you in my review that I completely forgot about. It's this little guy right here. You see him shoot the puck here. <laughs> I, just, I just think that's awesome. I really like that cutscene. Uh, and I apologize for that sound effect. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's edited here to the third period, and uh, got a pretty healthy lead as long as I don't blow it here. Which I think it, it was at this point right here that I screamed at the top of my lungs too, because once again I had issues passing my teammate and. Uh, here, what ended up happening is I ended up getting so frustrated in that Chicago guy and I'm scoring that goal, so... Yeah, I was pretty ticked off about that, to say the least. Which I didn't do here, which I'll do in the other two parts, which there are three rounds of this game, but... What, what I didn't do here was just keep the puck and try to kill as much time as I can, which if I would have done that, then Chicago wouldn't have scored these quick goals here. Which they already, they already have it uh, down to 12 to 6 now, so, uh... Uh, and then another thing too, you get the puck that bounces like that, it ends up bouncing in what I, right in front of the crease, in front of the goalie and that. And unless you get another player to scoop up the puck, the opponent is just going to keep shooting at you, and shooting at you, and shooting at you. And that can make for a really hairy situation, especially if you're in a tight game. Which I, I probably shouldn't do, which I do when I play this game, but it ends up working for me, but, uh... Here, what I end up doing is, if it does end up getting deep in my own territory, is that I control my goalkeeper and then if there's a guy come that he just scoops up hopefully the goalie will be able to find him in that but what I should do is every time there's a guy cl close by I just switch the guy real quick that way he takes the puck but uh but like I said before that's just personal opinion in that but uh but yeah, you, when you play this game, you'll probably develop a unique style of your own in that. You know, there's really no right or wrong way to play this, just as long as you do play the game. So, um... But yeah, it's, um... Uh, and you might also, uh, alter your game style a bit, depending on what team you're playing against. Which, right here, I'm trying to, Since Chicago does have good speed, I was trying my best try to, to try to disrupt them a little bit. To make sure they didn't get too much of a rhythm going on or offensively in that. And since LA is a great uh, physical uh, checking team, and I thought that would be a good neutralizer here for that, but uh, here that didn't end up working out the way I wanted it to. But <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's seven minutes left in this game, and uh, I was at the point here where I felt pretty good about where I was in the game, so. 
here I am being 15 to 6. And I think it was around this time where I started um, keeping possession of Puck. Yeah, it's around this part. Oh my god, you're not gonna believe what happens here. As you can see here, I'm skating around with Puck, right? And it's getting down to less than a minute, you know. Just skating around. And for some reason, I decided to shoot right here. And look, five seconds left. <laughs> five seconds left. And I gave up a goal. Oh, I was so mad when I got, like I came to this place. So, um, but yeah, I I really hate giving up a late goal like that. I don't know what possessed me to shoot the puck like that, but uh, needless to say, I didn't end up doing this again. So, uh, just pretty much dropped the puck here, and the game was pretty much over. But yeah, I had no I had no worries about losing because I did have a good enough lead. But the fact that I did give up that goal. Late in the game, really burned my rear end, so... Needless to say, I was happy to, uh... Get rid of Chicago on that in this round, so, um... But yeah, thank you for watching this, uh, video, and tune in for round two, and just find out who I play next.